held in constant keeping by the Father's hand divine. Tell of all the glory, oh what joy divine. I can feel the current moving on the line. Feel my God the Father for His love and all. We may talk to Jesus through this royal telephone. Time some glad tomorrow when we lay these heavy burdens down in this lonesome valley. In this lonesome valley. No more to roam, no more to roam. Had to labor on through joy and sorrow, hoping to receive the golden crown. It will all be glory, it will all be joy, that happy home in that sweet home. In the beautiful city, beautiful city, home sweet for us all. Shall look upon his smiling face. It will all be glory. It will all be joy. That happy home. In that sweet home. In that beautiful city. Beautiful city. Home sweet forever. So happy. Where the river of life. Where the river of life. Goes heavy by. Goes heavy by. We'll look upon the beauty. Look upon the beauty. Where the face no never. Face not away. And happy we'll be. Oh, happy we'll be. While the ages fly. While the ages fly. Across the river, deep and wide, in this lonesome bay, no more to roam, no more to roam. Through eternity, no separating. Every heart will then be satisfied. It will all be glory. It will all be joy. That happy home, in that sweet home, in that beautiful city, beautiful city, home sweet forever. So I'm happy where the river of life, where the river of life goes heavy.
Ben de ne oldu ki
church members and church family, God, we know the enemy is trying to attack and tear down all that he can. Lord, we're leaning on you, Lord, who sees you in these better days right here. Our I trust you, Lord, to know what you've done for us. Just ask that you bless those who can't be at home, Lord. Lord, we stand and wait for the moon, God. Just ask, Lord, that you go with us, God.
that you give us, Lord, and you're more than ready to do it here tonight. We thank you for your son, John, for your father's life. And we thank you, Lord, this night. Just ask that your will be done, Jesus, in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Still never going back. Well, no matter what kind of troubles I have, I'll live down here below. I can still be happy, but someday I know I'll go to a place of beauty that will last forever. This is a story about a little boy named Jimmy whose mama died and his daddy left him. And he made his living by selling newspapers on the street. And one evening he was walking down the sidewalk and he walked in front of this church and he could hear the preacher in there preaching. Well, he thought, well, well, Jesus is in there. He's going to go in there and give him one of his papers. The little boy went in and sat down about midway and he listened to that preacher preach. Well, that night when that preacher made that auto call, well, that little boy was the first one on the altar, but he didn't know how to pray. All he could say was, hey, Jesus, this is Jimmy. Well, this went on for about two or three nights in a row. When well, the pastor and the committee got together, and they said the little boy more is welcome to stay. But that simple prayer he prayed, it had to go. Well, that night, when little Jimmy came in, the pastor went back there and told him, little buddy, you're more than welcome to stay. But that's simple prayer you pray, it's got to go. Well, that night, when church let out, little Jimmy was the first one out the door. And all of a sudden, 
they heard a dull thud. They all run outside, their little, little Jimmy, all covered in blood. Well, they gathered him and rushed him to the hospital. The doctor came back and told him, said it's going to be impossible for the little boy to live, for every bone in his body has been broken. But I'll just tell you, before our little boy left this world for a better one, his lips started to move. You can hear him say, Jesus, this is Jimmy. Then a great calm filled that room. And he said, Jimmy, this is Jesus. I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Dear Lord, I'm coming home. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's join it with him. Every time that sure to be, Jesus is coming after me. I'll hear him calling me away from this whole world forever to stay. When I take my Savior's hand in that blessed promised land, we'll shout and sing to the endless ages, what a happy day. Oh, what a happy day that will be when we gather there. What a happy day. When we climb those golden stairs, gonna meet the those who have gone before, James and John and a million more. What a happy time that's sure to be, oh, what a happy day. When I walk into heaven's fair, I meet my blessed Savior there. To place a crown upon my head, give me a robe of white to wear. I'll walk on the streets of purest gold, live forever and not grow old. We'll shout and sing through the endless ages, what a happy day. Oh, what a happy day. That will be when we gather there. What a happy day. When we climb those golden stairs, gonna meet with those who have gone before, James and John and a million more. What a happy time that's sure to be. Oh, what a happy day. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Yes. He's worthy of praise. And I'm glad he makes a change in us, don't you? Becky likes this song. So it's gonna change him. One day I ran into the crowd. I used to hang around, and I told them that the world and I no longer can agree. And when they asked me why, this was my reply. There's been a change. A change in me There's been a change in me A change in me Oh, I am not the one I used to be Oh, things have passed away Since Christ has set me free There's been a change A change in me Well, that old one you knew before She's gone forevermore. She's been covered by the blood shed on Calvary. Yes, I'm a brand new man. 
I've been touched by God's own hand. There's been a change, a change in me. There's been a change in me, a change in me. Oh, I am not the one I used to be. Oh, things have passed away since Christ has set me free. There's been a change. A change in me Yeah, that old one you knew before Well, she's gone forevermore She's been covered by the blood shed on Calvary Well, I'm a brand new man I've been touched by God's own hand There's been a change A change in me There's been a change in me a change in me, oh, I am not the one I used to be. Oh, things have passed away since Christ has set me free. There's been a change, a change in me. Yes, oh, things have passed away since Christ has set me free. There's been a change, a change in me. This is one of my testimony songs. I might end up doing two songs because I'm crazy. I've got one's been on my heart for some time, but there's a there's a girl I'm supposed to be watching the service. And I've been talking to her, you know, you know, about about some things and and I, I wanna this is my one like I said, one of my testimony songs and I, I hope th I hope this song will you know kind of you know reach out to her and kind of answer some of her questions as far as people said I'd never make it said I'd never see it through they don't know what keeps me going I guess they never have
that but you know it, it, it's not how you do it it's the words you know, the, you know I just hope because you know that I'll try to hurry here you know a lot of that was those words were said to me you know a lot of people said I would never hold on which I you know I didn't in the beginning you know I in the very beginning but who you know a lot of times who does you know they ain't nobody a lot of times nobody just gets in there and stays in there you know you make mistakes you stumble you fall but you know, he was the treasure, you know. Mm -hmm. He is the treasure you're looking for. Because yeah. you have a void, you have that hole, and it takes him to fill that hole. Right. You know, and I just thank God that I've been able to hold on. Do you care if I, I sing the next one? Hey. I have several people in here singing this song. But, but, and I, until what, last night, last night or night before, I don't know, this, this song just... I never tried, but like I said, I'm, I'm like too good on you. But it just, it's just on my heart, you know. A woman in the Bible days, her last meal almost gone.
Well, a man came unto Jesus, said, Lord, I want to be healed. Body's on full of soul. Lord, I want to be healed. Jesus reached out and touched him, and his sickness went away. Like he healed that man that day, he'll take your sin away. Oh, there's power, so much power. Oh, there's power in the name, in the name of Jesus. There's power, so much power. There's power in His name. If you really know that the Lord has brought you through, you ought to stand up on your feet and tell the world I'm a witness to. Well, you ought to clap your hands. Tell the world there is no doubt Through all of my trouble and trials Even Jesus brought me out Oh, there's power, oh, there's power. So, much power. so much power Oh, there's power in the name In the name of Jesus There's power So much power There's power in Touched him, sickness went away. Just like to heal that man that day, he'll take your pain away. Oh, there's power, oh, there's power. so much power. Oh, there's power, oh, there's power. Oh, there's power. In, the in the name, in the name of Jesus. Oh, there's, power. Oh, there's power, so much power. Oh, Oh, there's power in the name, in the name of Jesus. There's power, so much power. There's power in His name. Well, if you really know that the Lord has brought you through, you ought to stand up on your feet and tell the world I'm a witness to. Well, you ought to clap your hands. Tell the world there is no doubt Through all of my trouble and trials Every Jesus brought me out Oh, there's power, oh, there's power. So much power Oh, there's power, oh, there's power. power in, in the name, name, in the name oh, of Jesus There's power, oh, there's power. So much power oh, there's power, oh, there's power. I mean, he's happy to be in the Lord's house. Amen. Amen. Do appreciate the Lord and all that he's done for us. What he's going to do for us. Amen. God's able. No matter what we have need of, what we have before him. He's able. He can move. Amen. I appreciate the Lord. If you got your Bible tonight, let's go to the book of Luke. Amen. Very familiar scripture. How many knows we're in the end times? Amen. Amen. Thank you, buddy. I'm telling you, it's so close. Lord, I uh, come in the house this evening. Mom, the therapist, come to work with Mom, and she had been watching the news and hearing all the devastation of that big uh, earthquake. Lord, it's, it's sad. But that's the word of God fulfilling itself. The Bible said there'd be earthquakes in diverse places. Diverse there means different. 
or places that you didn't think could have earthquake, they're having earthquakes. And I know there's some tore up over the the eclipse that's going to happen next week. And if it be the Lord's will, and we're we're around and get to see it. And I was telling Mitch on the way to church tonight, I said, people are so concerned about that right there, but they ain't concerned about the coming of the Lord. Just living so haphazardly. Just, I mean, they're you've got some that's their doomsday prepping for what the, this eclipse that's going to happen. But you try to talk to them about the Lord, oh, they, they don't want, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Friend, I'm telling you, the Lord's coming. Amen. Amen. If it be the Lord's will, we're going to try to our best to obey the Lord this evening and uh, give you what he's given us. Amen. I do ask for your prayers for a little while this evening that the Lord would help us. And if he'll come by and help us, I'm sure we all will be blessed. Luke 21, go on down. The verse number 25, like I said, this is, Jesus, this is Luke's interpretation of Jesus uh, preaching about the end times, telling them what things that was going to be happening. Amen. But tonight, I want us to focus upon one thing. Amen. we got hope in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Luke 21, 25, if you want to stand for the reading of God's Word, if you can and able. The Bible said, And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, man's hearts failing them for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Let's pray. Father, we do thank you for the reading of the word tonight. God, we just ask that your will would be done here in this service. God, I pray, Lord, that you bless those that's watching tonight by the means of internet, those that will be watching by DVD at a later time. We pray that you bless them. Lord, as they receive the word, God, we just ask that your will would be done tonight. Lord, give us an ear to hear what thus saith the word of the Lord. Lord, help us to be an encouragement to your people this evening. Lord, I pray tonight, God, that you would come down and rest upon this body. Lord, let that anointing flow as in the days of old. Father, we do ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I know I preached from these scriptures not too long ago, but amen. I felt led of the Lord this evening to go right back to these. Amen. And how I know tonight that it's more important to obey the Lord, amen, than anything else in this life. The Bible said obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. If you want to turn, we're going to go to the book of 2 Peter chapter 3 now. If you want to turn there with us as well. Amen. If you want to mark this place, we might come back to it momentarily. If it be the Lord's will, and if not, that'll be all right too. We just want the Lord to have His way. Amen. But I, I, as we turn it, I want to read verse 28 out of Luke to you again from chapter 21. Amen. The latter part. He said, uh, let me just read the whole thing. He, and he said, when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your head, heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Aren't you glad tonight that we got hope in the Lord? Yeah. Amen. If we only had hope in this life, we, the Bible said we would be of most men miserable. Amen. But my hope's not in this, this life. My hope's not in this world. My hope's not in the things of this world. My hope's not in the government. My hope's not in, amen, the things that can and cannot be. But my hope is in the Lord. Amen. amen. And my hope being in the Lord, I have nothing to fear. Amen. Winston Churchill said this. He said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Amen. I don't have to be afraid tonight to call upon the name of the Lord. Because if I call upon His name, I know that He will come. Amen. And answer my prayer. I don't always, amen, agree with the timing. But that's something I've got to work out with the Lord because He's an on-time God. Because there's things that I think the Lord should have done moved in. And He ain't. Amen. But God's an on-time God. And He knows what He's doing this evening. I, I do ask for your prayers here in Luke, or excuse me, 2 Peter chapter 3. Amen. Listen what the Apostle Peter had to say in verse 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words 
which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of, and of the commandment of us, the apostles, of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this, first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lust, and saying, Where is the promise of His coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they will willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth which are now, by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Then, uh, excuse me, the Lord is not slack concerning His promise. As some men count slackness, but he is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Verse number 10, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought, you, ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hastening unto the coming of that day wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens and new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent, that ye may be, be found of Him in peace, without spot, and blame us. And account that the long-suffering of our Lord is, is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. As also in his, excuse me, as also in all epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to understand, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, and they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also being led away with the error of the wicked. Fall from your own steadfastness, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be glory, both now and forever. Amen. Aren't you glad of that this evening? Aren't you glad that we have a blessed hope and assurance? Aren't you glad that we have the Word of God? Aren't you glad that we have the Spirit, amen, of the Most High God that lives inside of us? Aren't you glad of that tonight? Amen. Aren't you glad of a man named Jesus that came and, amen, he gave his life so that we could live? Aren't you glad that, amen, he didn't, ha he didn't know any sin, but he became our sin. I wasn't even, amen, I wasn't even a, a, a gleamer in mom's eye. But God looked down through time, and he saw the year that I would give my heart to the Lord, which was 2005. Amen. And he took my sin, and he took my shame, and all my unrighteousness. Amen. And he took it to the cross. Amen. And he allowed them to nail him to the cross. Amen. He allowed them, amen, to beat him beyond recognition. He allowed them to do the things that they did unto him. But can I tell you, my friend, this evening, the Lord's not slack concerning his promises. The Lord's not slack. And he told his disciples, he said, if I go away, he said, I will come unto you again. He said, I go away to prepare a place for you. He said that where I am, there you may be also. He said, for in my Father's house, singular, he said, there are many mansions, 
Plural. He said, if it were not true, I would have told you so. But I'll pray to the Father that he'll send you that comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Friend, aren't you glad of the Holy Ghost this evening? Amen. If you ain't got it, you need it. Amen. You need a good power of the Holy Ghost in your life. Amen, friend. I want you to know something this evening. God's not slack concerning his promises. Amen. We read to you there out of the book of Luke. I want to flip back over there right real quick. Amen. If you want to turn there. Amen. Listen, verse 28 again. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Friend, we don't have anything to worry about. Amen. We just What we've got to be concerned with this evening is are we doing everything that we know we need to do for the Lord? Huh? Have we got everything in order? I'll be ready if the Lord should call. I had, a, I had a brother call me on the phone. He said, I'm troubled about some things. This is happening and that's happening. And I told him, I said, it's like this, brother. I said, what you need to be concerned with is your relationship with God. Huh? Well, this, one, this one's doing that and that one's doing this. I said, well, I'm going to tell you something. You work out your own soul salvation. You do what you know you got to do for God. You obey the Lord. You try to be a light friend. Listen, we can't make them come to church. If we, if we could, well, the church house would be full. We can't make them. We can't make them serve the Lord. We can't make them do anything that they don't want to do. You ever heard that old saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink? Friend, I'm telling you, if the Spirit does not draw them into an old-fashioned altar and the conviction power of the Holy Ghost fall upon them, it won't last. It won't last. You've got to give it all to the Lord. You can't hold back. You cannot be, amen, you can't be an Ananias and you can't be a Sapphire. You can't, you can't hold back a portion of the goods and think that everything's going to be all right. You've got to give it all to the Lord. Amen, that song says 99 and a half won't do, 99.999 won't do. you got to give it all to the Lord. Amen. And you see, we're living in a time right now, amen, with the world, listen, they just celebrated Easter. Bless you, Lord. Huh? Yeah. No doubt churches were packed. Yeah. Come on. Huh? Yeah. No doubt people that hadn't been, to, and I'm not, I'm not judging tonight, I'm just telling you, amen, the way the world is. No doubt they got up, they put on their Sunday best, and they went to the house of God somewhere. And that's all they know about the Lord. They don't have a closeness with God. Friend, I don't know about you, but I, I've got to have a relationship Amen. with God. Thank you, Lord. I've got to have a closeness with God. Amen. I, I talk to Him, and I like it when He talks to me. Amen. I talk to Him a lot. Amen. He talks to me, but I wish He'd talk to me a little more at times. Amen. But sometimes I just got to stand on my faith and know that everything's going to be all right. Amen. Amen, somebody. I talk to the Lord and I tell Him things and things that trouble me and things that are concerning and this and that. And I tell the Lord. But you know one thing? Amen. We've got to realize tonight that God is still God. Amen. 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 And He's not slack concerning His promises. Thank you, Lord. As some men count slackness. He's not slack concerning His promises. I told, I told you this here not too long ago. I want to tell you again. Amen. Went down to the, to the UT Medical Center. Amen. Having some health problems. Still having the same problems. Amen. I, I, I just, I'm relying on the Lord. Lord, you lead us and guide us. We got a phone call. They finally found a place that'll, amen, able to do some testing on us and going to try to find out what's going on. But I told Brooke, I told her, I said, honey, you don't have to be afraid. Amen. She, tears begin to fill her eyes. She, she said, I'm not afraid. I'm just concerned. I said, you don't have to be afraid. I said, God, give me a peace. God, let me know, son, I promised you some things and they ain't come to pass yet and you ain't going nowhere. Friend, I'm telling you, we just got to line up with God and we just got to put our trust and our confidence in Him and realize that God's not slack concerning His promises. Amen. As some men count slackness. Friend, I want you to know this tonight. Amen. God's not slack concerning His promises. Amen. God's not slack. I'm telling you. Amen. If He said He'll do it, He'll do it. Amen. Huh? Thank you. Look up. Thank you, Jesus. Your redemption draweth nigh. Look up. Where's your hope? Where's your help? Amen. Where, where's your trust at tonight? Amen. Jesus said when these things begin to come to pass, that was the red letters there in Luke chapter 21 that we read to you. He said, and when these things begin to come to pass, then. <laughs> come on. He didn't say you wouldn't see them. He said then. When these things begin to come 
to pass. My Bible's got a comma. Then look up. Your, and lift up your heads. For your redemption draweth nigh. And if that don't make you happy tonight, you ain't got what I got. Because I know where my hope and I know where my help and I know where my strength, I know where it comes from. And it comes from the Lord. I've seen a lot of things in my short years of serving the Lord. 19 years of serving God. I've seen a lot of things. But you know one thing I've never seen? I've never seen God fail anybody. You know one thing that I've never seen? I've never seen God lie to anybody. You know one thing that I've never seen? I've never seen the Lord not be there for us. Amen, friend. I'm telling you, God is always there. He said, and after all these things, amen, when they begin to come to pass, He said, then you look up. Amen. He said, and lift up your heads. Amen. Amen. Because He said, your redemption draweth nigh. What are you talking about tonight? I'm talking about the coming of the Lord in the clouds. Amen. If you want to turn over to Revelation right quick. Revelation chapter 1. Revelation 1. Verse number 7, the Bible said, Behold, He cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see Him, and they also which pierced Him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of Him, even so. Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come. Hallelujah. The Almighty. I, John, who also am your brother and your companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and, and patience of Jesus Christ was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony <laughs> of Jesus Christ. John said, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day and I heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. Saying, I am, hallelujah. I am, hallelujah. That's, that's enough right there. Uh, that's enough right there. God told Moses, he said, you tell him that I am sent you. Uh, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book and send unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, unto Samaria, unto Pergamos, unto Thyatira, and to Sardis, unto Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. John said, And I turned to see that voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one likened to the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet were like unto fine brass, as if they had been burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his seven and and and, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me. Fear not, I am the first and I am the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. Behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of hell, <coughs> of death. Write these things which thou hast seen. And the things which are and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand. And the seven golden candlesticks, the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. And the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. You, Friend, five of the seven churches here he found fault with. Huh? Five of these seven churches he found fault with. Come on, somebody. Five of them, he found a fault with them. And you know what he told them? He said, repent. <laughs> He said, or else I come quickly. And he said, I will remove the candlestick from out of its place. Amen, friend. I don't know about you. Amen. But I don't want the glory of the Lord to depart from me. 
I don't want the, His presence to depart from me. Amen. I don't want the Lord to come and remove His Spirit from me. Amen. I don't want Him, uh, amen, to say, uh, amen, you're undefiled. You're, uh, you're an unreppable mind. Uh, amen. I've turned you over to the devil to teach you not to blaspheme. I don't want Him to come and say none of those things. Uh, amen. But I want to hear those words, uh, amen, that I've read about so many times. Uh, amen. Enter in, uh, thou good and thou faithful servant. Uh, amen. Uh, you've been faithful over a few things. I'm going to make you ruler over many, friend. I don't know about you tonight, but I, hey man, I've got a made up mind by the help of God. I'm going to make heaven my home. Hey man, got too much to gain to lose now. Huh? Look up. Huh? Then look up and lift up your heads. Your redemption draweth nigh. God's not a God that he should lie. Neither the Son of Man that he should repent. God's not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness. Amen. But he is long suffering toward us. Amen. Aren't you glad that he's long suffering toward us? Because you know what? I've sat back. Amen. And I've been an old knot on the log. Huh? I've sat back and I've been bullheaded. And listen, amen. This is all coming from the Lord tonight. I ain't got nothing wrote down. Amen. I've sat back and I've been bullheaded and I've been stiff-necked and I've been hard-hearted. Amen. And I've watched other people get blessed all around me. Amen. And wonder why God ain't moving from me. Amen. And I think it's this and I think it's that. And you know what I began to realize? It was me. It was this old flesh. Amen. Because Paul said in this flesh, he said, lies no good thing. And he said, everywhere I sought to do good, he said, evil was ever present. And any time that God begins to start blessing, amen, the devil's going to try his best to tear down. He's going to try his best to destroy. He's going to try his best to divide and to conquer and to overtake. Amen. But greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. Amen. I have a mansion waiting for me over yonder. Huh? Huh? I have a mansion waiting. Thank you, Jesus. I'm ready. Amen. I'm ready to meet the Lord. I'm ready. Amen. I'm ready to meet the Lord. I'm looking. Even so, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Oh, preacher. Preacher, you don't understand. I got family that ain't right with the Lord. Friend, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I've witnessed a family. And I've told them, get ready. The Lord's coming. Get ready. Oh, we went over Sunday. We went over her, to Brooks Mamaw's and her dad's house, and, and they had a, 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 a dinner there. Amen. And, 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 and Mike, her dad, he was just, it, it done my heart good. They was, they've been going to uh, Advent Baptist Church, and they, they've been really doing good. Amen. Serving the Lord and working in the church and in the choir and different things. And, and I told him, I said, Mike, I'm so proud of you. I said, they, listen, I said, the, the Lord's getting ready to come. He said, I know it. Amen. I know it. He said, I'm telling you what. It, amen. He, it won't be long, friend. It won't be long before the Lord comes. Amen. It won't be long. You say, preacher, we've heard this all of our life. Amen. Look up, friend. Your redemption draweth nigh. Amen. Friend, listen. I want to be. Amen. Don't be weary and well doing. Amen. For in due season you'll reap. If you faint not, if you faint not, if you faint not. I don't know about you, but I want to reap. Huh? Sister Mary, down there at Rose Hill Pentecostal Church. She used to sing a song, sowing in the morning, reaping in the evening. Huh? Thank you, You're going to reap just what you sow. We're sowing in the morning, reaping in the evening. Sowing in the morning, reaping in the evening. It goes on and on. It says, You're going to reap just what you sow. Huh? What have you been sowing today? What you sow this morning? Come on, somebody. That alarm clock come on. Hey man, was you mad? Was you, hey man, was you didn't get enough sleep? Was you rubbing the sleep out of your eyes, just murmuring and complaining? Or did you say, This is the day the Lord hath made? Let us rejoice and be glad therein. Thank you, Lord. I was able to hear the alarm one more time. Thank you, God. I'm able to turn the light switch on and the the electric bills paid and the lights on. Thank you, God. Amen. And I'm able, amen, to get up and go. I still got two legs. Amen. I can walk walk around on. I've still got a, amen, a sense of smell. I got a sense of taste. Amen. Some like coffee. Amen. Some don't. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Whatever your morning routine is, friend, we we are a blessed people. Huh? But you see, I'm afraid we find ourselves so in discord. So in doubt, huh? Being weary, weariness, huh? You ever worried? Come on, somebody, we all have. Be honest, we all have. Come on, 
Friend, I'll tell you what the Word of God says. Worry is a rejection of faith. It's a rejection of faith. Amen. Friend, there's nothing wrong with being concerned, but when we worry ourselves sick, amen, it's wrong. Bible, Jesus said it's vain to sit up late and worry about bed and bread, the things that you ain't got control over. Come on, neighbor. Listen, the Lord, He didn't even have a place to call home. Huh? He said the foxes have holes and the birds have nests. He said, but the Son of Man hath nowhere to lay His head. Amen. Amen. But He wasn't worried. What did He do? He just went on about doing the Father's business. Friend, I don't know about you. Amen. But I got a feeling everything's going to be all right. I don't know about you, but I've got a feeling everything's going to be all right. Oh, I'm telling you, we might be, hey amen, we might be fighting a pits of hell. Hey amen, hell might feel like it's camped on our doorstep. Hey amen, but if we'll hold to God's unchanging hand. Hey amen, if we'll keep, hey amen, just riding out the storm. Friend, I'm telling you, listen, there's some storms. Hey amen, there's some things that we're going to have to go through. There's some troubles, there's some trials. Hey amen, there's some tribulations, but there's one thing I know that God will see us through. Hey amen, we just got to hold to that unchanging hand of God. Hold to the one, hey amen, that can't, hey amen, he can't lie to us. He won't make us a promise and not break it. Hey amen, friend, listen. Hey amen, he'll be there for you. Hey amen, Peter said, Lord, if that be you, bid me to come. Jesus said, come. He stepped out of the boat and he was doing good. He began to look at everything going on around him. Amen. Huh? Come on. I do good till I look around and see everything going on around me. Come on. I do good till I look back and see that it's been 14 and a half years that God promised us something and we ain't seen it yet. Huh? And I'm telling you, the devil's right there, honey. I'm not here to preach. Amen. And uplift the devil tonight. But I'm telling you, he's there. He's there. But there's one thing I have to tell that devil. I thank God. I like what Jimmy said the other day. Amen. When he was up here preaching. Devil, the road that brought you in here is the same road to take you back out. Get out of here. Get on out of here, devil. Get out of here. I ain't got time for you, devil. Huh? Don't waste your time on me. I ain't got time for you, Satan. Hey, man. Friend, we look around and we see things. We get reports. We see our bank account. We see this. We see the cupboard dry. We see the, hey, man, the refrigerator pretty empty. I don't know about you, but I've opened the refrigerator before, and the only thing being the refrigerator was the box of, of Arm & Hammer. Bacon soda. Huh? Bless the Lord. But you know what? Thank God we had arm and hammer bacon soda. Amen. Keep the refrigerator fresh. Hey man, there's been time, friend, I'm not being pitiful tonight. I'm not asking you for money. I'm not asking for a pat on the back. But I'm telling you, how can I stand up here and preach about faith if my faith ain't ever been tried? How can you tell others about how good and how faithful God is? Hey man, if you ain't experienced it for yourself. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Thank God. I've been there. I've been through some hard times. But there's one thing I know for sure. God's been right there with me. Amen. Even when I didn't feel like he was there, he was still there. Even when I couldn't see it. Amen. Even when I couldn't feel it. Amen. He never stopped working. He was always there. Amen. He was there. Amen. He was there in the good times. And he was there in the bad times. He was there in the times of chaos. And in the times of order, he was there. In the times of confusion. And amen. In the in the times of sanity. He was there. Amen. He was always there. He was there. Amen. Even when I didn't want him to be there, he was there. Huh? Why? Because it's not his will that any should perish. It's not His will that any amen should perish. Hell was not made for the human race. Hell was not made for the soul of man. It was not. But it was made for the devil and his angels. And friend, I tell you this tonight. Amen, we're close to going home. Hell's not no party place. Amen, I know, listen, this world, we're living in, we're living in those perilous times. Amen. Timothy wrote and he said, In the last days, perilous times shall come. Men shall be lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. We're living in that time. We're living in that time. Chaos is all around us. Hey Amen. They're, wor- they're more worried about, hey man, the astrologers. Hey man, the astrometers. Hey man, about what they're predicting. You know what I heard on the news this evening? Hey man, and I ain't one to watch the news. Hey man, but they're urging people not to e- even be out on that day the eclipse is going to take place. They're wanting to try their very best to instill fear in the hearts of man. Friend, I don't know about you. I'm going to look up for my redemption draws now. Now, we know better not to go out here on a bright sunny day and stare right at the sun ball. It'll burn the retina out of our eyes. 
But there's one thing I can tell you this evening. Hey man, we can look up and know that our redemption draweth nigh. We can look to the hills from which cometh our help, because our help comes from the Lord. Hey man, we can count on the Lord. Hey man, He ain't never let me down. How about you, friend? I've let Him down, but He ain't never let me down. Amen, somebody. I've let him down, but he ain't never let me down. Amen. David said, I was once young. And he said, now that I'm old, he said, I've never once seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed a-begging for bread. God's going to take care of us. Huh? Come on. Behold, Revelation 1, 7. He cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. Friend, when he comes, ain't nobody going to have to tell him, Hey, look, there's the king of kings. You're going to know. You're going to know it. You're going to know the king of kings. And you're going to know the Lord of lords. And I tell you this. Every atheist, every agnostic, amen, every Buddhist, Every Muslim, every one of them is going to bow down. Amen. Hallelujah. And say, Hail, King of kings and Lord of lords. Every one of them. Amen. will bow at that knee. Amen. They'll, they'll take a knee. Amen. To that man named Jesus. Amen. And they'll say, Hail. Amen. The Bible said, Amen. Listen, all. Listen, the Bible said, Amen. And all kindreds of earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. Huh? Friend, can I tell you? Amen, you ain't got all the time in the world. I don't know why the Lord wanted me to preach a message like this tonight, but that's okay. Amen, I'm just simply trying to follow the Lord. I don't know. Amen, you should know these things. We don't have all the time in the world. Amen, don't put off to tomorrow the things that need to be done today. Come on, neighbor. Friend, I'm telling you, Jimmy preached here just a few weeks ago. And I'm not bragging. I'm not boasting on me. I didn't realize I had things in my heart. Hey Amen. That went unchecked. Hey Amen. And God began to work on this old boy. Hey Amen. Gene, I realized that if I didn't make a phone call, if I didn't go ask somebody to forgive me, say I'm sorry, that I was going to have some gate trouble. Hey Amen. I couldn't put it off. I couldn't put it off. We got in the car. Brooke said, which way are we going home? I said, hang on a minute. Go through town. I don't care. i got to make a phone call. Amen, because I didn't know what lied, out, what lied ahead out the road. I didn't know, amen, uh, what was around the next curve. I didn't know what was about to take place. Amen, don't put off to tomorrow the things that need to be done today. Amen, the Bible said, if you come to the altar, amen, and you, and you see that you have an altar against your brother, he said to leave your gift at the altar and to go and reconcile. Yes. Huh? Repent, ask for forgiveness. Yes, amen, he said that your Father in heaven can forgive you also. Amen. Don't put it off. Huh? Come on. Friend, I'm telling you, these neighbors quarreled with one another for years. I don't know why I'm saying all this. Huh? God knows. Neighbors have quarreled one with another for years. I told you some time back, buddy, the neighbor's dogs, they was just, boy, I was ready to shoot them every one. I went and bought some shells. I was going to lay the lead to them. God said, you wouldn't want your little dog shot now, would you? I said, forgive me, Lord. Forgive me. Forgive me, God. Boy, I, I, I wasn't going to try to kill them, but I, I was going to burn them up, if you know what I mean. Hey, man, I didn't like what they was doing, coming in the yard, making a mess, turning garbage open. Hey, man, I got to thinking, Lord laid it on my heart about my little dog. Hey, man, I, don't, I wouldn't want nobody to shoot him. Huh? And you know what? I said, Lord, forgive me. Help me to pray about this situation. Can I tell you them dogs hardly ever come over anymore? They'll come down, stand in the road, and they'll look around a few minutes, and they'll turn around and go right back up to their side. Hey, man, friend, I'm telling you, God changes things. He made that dog. Come on, somebody. Hey, man, neighbor, he made that dog. That dog ain't got a living soul, but God made that dog. Hey, man, listen, friend, if he can take the animals two by two, every one of its kind, hey, man, and put it on a big old ark, he can tell that dog, you're going to stop right there. You ain't going another step. Huh? Oh, that's, that's foolish, preacher. No, it ain't. No, it ain't, because I'm telling you, the devil's trying every which way he can to get us to trip up. Yes. Come on, somebody. The Bible said a little leaven. A little leaven levels the whole lump. Come on, he said faith is a grain of a mustard seed. Anybody in here not seen a mustard seed? Huh? If you've had, most of us country folk, no doubt we've worked in the garden sometime in our life. 
Amen. My mom used to plank mustard and lettuce. Amen. I didn't like the mustard. I sure did like the lettuce. Amen. Liked it. Amen. Onions chopped up in it, killed in bacon grease. Amen. It ain't good for you, but it tastes good. Huh? It sure does. Amen. But faith is a grain of a mustard seed, that little old bitty seed that you can't hardly see at all. Amen. He said if you had that much faith that you could say into that mountain, be thou removed and cast into the depths of the sea. Amen. And you believe and you doubt not in your heart. He said this shall come to pass. This too will happen. But as much of the little speck of faith that you need, think about the speck of doubt. Amen. If that little bit of faith will move God, imagine how much doubt will cause you to miss a blessing. Huh? Friend, it's not a time to doubt. It's not a time to worry. It's not a time to fret. Listen, I'm telling you. Come on. Hear me out. I'm, I'm not being mean. I'm not being mean to those watching by internet, to those watching by DVD. I'm not being mean. Church, I'm not being mean. Hey, Amen. But it's more than once or twice a year. Come on, somebody. It's more than once a week. Come on, somebody. Friend, I, can I be real with you tonight? They some people, the only time they open their Bible is when they come to church. Come on. Amen. And they wonder, they wonder why they ain't got no victory. They wonder why God ain't moving. Amen. Because they ain't got a relationship with God. I've got to have this word open daily. Amen. I've got to have this word daily. Amen. Friend, go without water. Come on, somebody. Three days without water. That old body starts to shut down. Three days. Huh? Three days. And that old body begins to shut down. You can go a long time without food. Amen. But you try to go without that water for him three days. Amen, somebody. I remember the first time we had COVID. Brooke got so dehydrated. Amen. When she went to the restroom, amen, it looked like black coffee. That's how dehydrated she was. And I called the doctor and I said, listen, doc, I'm scared. I don't know what to do. I don't know what this is. He said, she's just dehydrated. She needs some fluids. Amen. And I thought, Lord, help. Amen. We can't get to the ER. Lord, I didn't even feel like raising my head up. Amen. But friend, I'm telling you, God gave us the strength. God saw us through. God met every need. Amen. To God be the glory. Friend, I'm not going to cur- Amen. By the help of the Lord, I'm not going to worry and I'm not going to fret. I'm going to trust in the word of God. Because his word is yea and amen. Amen. And I told a I told a, a boy today, we was talking about the word of God. I said, listen to this. I said, the word says to you what it says to me. And I said, it says it to everybody. Huh? There's no in private interpretation of the Word of God. What it reads to me, it reads to you. Huh? What it reads to me, it reads to the sinner. Huh? It reads to the Sadducee and the Pharisee. Hey Amen. It reads, it reads the same to them. Come on. How many knows the Bible said the Spirit and the Word? They agree. Come on. Friend, I've got people that's told me this. I don't like such and such in the Bible. You ain't got the right spirit. It may not set well, but it's all profitable. It's all profitable. There ain't nothing in this word that's unprofitable. Every bit of it's profitable. And meat for the master's use. Lord, you go back to that Old Testament. Amen. And you begin to read about the children of Israel that come out of the wilderness. They wandered in the wilderness 40 years. And there was judges set up over them at different times. But Israel would forget about God. And they would start sell, selling out to Baal. And they'd begin to worship false gods. God sent different judges all down through the Old Testament. Amen. Different ones. Israel, you need to repent. Turn back to God. And they would admit, we have forsaken God. We have turned our back upon the one true God. And they would repent. And they would walk Amen. As long as that judge was alive. And when that judge would die, Israel would go right back into the mess that they were in. Friend, when you give your all to the Lord, amen, I'm talking about everything. Everything. You've got to surrender your all. Becky said something a while ago. Becky, I'm not trying to tear you down or or destroy you or nothing like that. Amen. But when you give your all, God will keep you. God will keep you. And what the problem is, people ain't giving their all. Come on. They give up 99 sins, but they want to keep that one. And think, well, I can just do it less every day and it'll be all. No. That little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. You see, when you surrender your all to God, He takes everything. Friend, 
And he creates in you a clean heart and a right spirit. I don't know about you. Amen. But I realize tonight where my help comes from. I realize. Amen. The question was asked. Who are you going to vote for? Who this? Who that? I vote Jesus. I vote the one that's got all power in heaven and in earth. I I vote the one. Amen. I I was talking with mom's one of mom's therapists the other day. Amen. And she was talking about evolution. I said, I don't believe that garbage. I said, really don't even want to talk about it. She said, well, I got my beliefs. I said, well, I do too. And the word of God is right. The word is right. I said, let God be true and every man be a liar. And uh, we was talking about mom was was telling her uh, she had to have her tailbone removed and this, that, and the other. And she said, well, you know, some would say that tailbone was there because of of a tail that fell off. I said, I don't believe that garbage. I don't believe it. Uh Uh-uh. I said, if we come from monkeys, why ain't we still coming from monkeys? Huh? If evolution was so true, why ain't it still happening today? Well, we're we're metamorphosing. and, And we're getting back to that. No, we ain't. What we're getting close to is the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. What we're getting close to is the standing before a just and a living God. What we're getting close to, amen, is every eye, amen, going to behold His beauty. Every eye and every, every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess that He's King of kings and Lord of lords. Amen. That's what we're getting close to. Amen. amen. I didn't come for no monkey. My ancestors didn't come for no monkey. Adam didn't come for no monkey. Eve didn't come for no monkey. I don't believe that garbage. I don't believe it. Well, what about the Big Bang Theory? I said, friend, let me tell you this. I wasn't there, and I'm sure. Hey, man, when the, when the heavens and the earth and the firmament thereof, and, and when the earth, hey, man, then when the mountains begin to come up, I said, when, you, when they talk about earthquakes, I said, there's noise, there's chaos all around. I said, no doubt, there probably was some noise going on, but it was all under, under control because God was speaking that word. He said, let there be, and there was. He said, let there be a sun. Hey, man, hang it out there on nothing. Come on, somebody. He said, let me, dev- let me, hey, man, the Bible said the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the earth. Come on, somebody. And he just spoke it, honey. He didn't, he didn't have big bulldozers. Hey, man, he didn't have to do no excavation with heavy equipment. He just spoke the Word of God. And it had to happen. He said, let there be. That's why I know this tonight. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what battle you're facing. I don't care what affliction's in your body. Amen. I don't care. I don't care what it is. Nothing catches God by surprise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And at a moment's notice. Amen. Jesus come over to the other side. And there was legion possessed of many devils. Amen. And they came running to Jesus and said, why, why have you come, amen, to torment us before our time? Huh? Suffer us not to go, amen, amen, into the deep before it's our time. Amen. Suffer us, amen, not to go. We, we're, we're not ready. It ain't our time yet. Huh? What Jesus say? He said, they said, suffer us to go into that herd of swine. He said one word. Go. 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 Come on. I was listening to Tommy Bates preach here the other night. He said, I don't have to slap you on the forehead. I don't have to push you down in the floor. I don't have to take my coat off and throw it on you. He said, it's the power of the risen God. Of the risen Savior through God Almighty. It's the power of the one true God. The God that's above all and in all and through all. Amen. Listen, I thought about old (coughs) Elijah. Amen. And the prophets of Baal. Amen. He made fun of them. He mocked them. Amen. From morning until noonday. And he finally said, enough's enough. Amen. Hey, your God must be asleep. He must be on a journey. He's on a vacation. Amen. Wake him up. Amen. He said, enough's enough. Huh? (coughs) Friend, can I tell you? The one true God answered by fire. Not only did he answer by fire, he licked up all the water in the trench that was there in. Friend, I'm telling you, the one true God, he's got the final say. Amen. He said not to be tormented, not to be worried. Amen. He said, look up. Huh? Lift up your heads. For your redemption draws nigh. I told Mitchell here not too long ago. Son, didn't get back in church. 
I said, you need to get back in church. You need to get back in fellowship with God. I said, the Lord's are coming. I said, you know this. Did I not tell you that, Mitchell? Amen. You know what? James said, he that knoweth to do good and doeth it not to him is a sin. Amen. Come on. It would be better that we never known God than to know God and walk away from Him. Amen. Friend, I'm telling you, I'm not being mean. I'm not picking on Mitch tonight. Thank God. Thank God he's got a zeal wanting to come back to the house of God. Amen. Friend, we better get in a hurry. We better get in a hurry. We better tell our loved ones as much as we can. Told my brother the other day, we was talking. I said, Josh, I'm not trying to be dad by no means. But I'm praying for you, buddy. I'm praying for you. He said, I appreciate that. I said, it do my heart good to see you take them kids to church and get a relationship with God. I said, if you ever want to see Dad again, that's your only hope. I said, if not, that day we buried him is the last day you're going to see him. You'll never get to see him again. And I told him, I, 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 know, I know part of his childhood when he went to live in Indiana with his mom and his stepdad. And I'm, I'm not two-faced. I'll say it to them just as well as I say it right here. Hey Amen. His stepdad drilled into his head, there is no God. There is no God. God don't exist. And that's what he stands on today. That's what he's believing. Hey Amen. But I told him, I said, Josh, it ain't so. I said, son, it was God that kept you, hand of protection upon you in Iraq. I said, it was God. I said, you told me the things that you saw. and I'm telling you some things, man. I, I, no wonder these soldiers have PTSD and the things that they go through. Some of the things he told me. Dead bodies just laying everywhere. Dismembered. Limbs blown off of it. Hey, man. I said, that was God that kept you all safe. Had two injuries. No fatalities in their platoon. They had two injuries. One soldier got shot in the jaw. Went right through. Knocked one tooth out. That's all it did. Another one got shot in the buttocks. Amen. That's all it was. Their platoon didn't suffer no harm other than those two. Amen. Those two, uh, it wasn't casualties, but whatever, you, whatever word I'm looking for there, that's all they suffered. Amen. He said, but we heard bullets whizzing by us. He said, we'd hear them snap and hiss and whiz. He said, I don't know if you've ever been shot at. I said, well, the only times when you shot me with the BB gun. That's the only time I've ever been shot at. And I still got the BB in my body. He said, it's an it's a eerie feeling being shot at I said do you want to know something more eerie than that dying without Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior I said it's a scary thing to die without the Lord I said the Bible said this it's a fearful amen it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a just and a living God friend can I tell you tonight be ready look up tell your, tell your family tell your friends tell your co-workers Lord they might they might Bless you out. Might say I don't want to hear it, but you tell them anyhow. The Lord's are coming. The Lord's are coming. Old Nineveh was a wicked city. God told Jonah, he said, go to Nineveh. And you tell them to repent. And you tell them to repent. Amen. Friend, can I tell you something? Amen. This eclipse that's getting ready to happen, it's going to pass over nine states with cities. Amen. Tied to the name of Nineveh. Can I tell you? God's trying to stir his people. And wake his people up. He said there would be signs in the heavens. Come on, somebody. Come on. He said the hey man, he said the moon shall turn to blood. Did have you read? I don't know about you, but I was in that uh, in the hospital down there at UT, I had a lot of time on my hands. They turned a the bed alarm on, wouldn't let me up. And hey man, I'd read the Bible for a while and then read some headlines. And scientists, hey amen, they, they're trying, hey amen, they're trying to get a better aspect on it. But they said the, the North Pole and the South Pole of the moon are beginning to turn red like rust. And they said, before a year, I forget what year it is, before a year such and such, the whole moon's going to be red. It won't be white anymore. I thought, boys, I don't need, amen, I don't need the scientists and the astrologers to tell me that. I got the book to tell me that. Amen. The moon's going to turn to blood. That sun, listen, amen, there ain't nobody can turn that sun out. There's going to come a day when the Lord, amen, when he's going to say, sun, shine no more. Come on. Now, that old son, it'll, it'll, hey man, it'll refuse to shine. And the Bible said the stars of heaven, he said they'll begin to fall. Come on, I read an article the other day. Hey man, they went back and they've been doing some excavation. 
Amen. And some archaeologists have been, amen, doing some studies over there where Sodom and Gomorrah was. And they actually are finding, they're calling them wafers. But they're about yay big. Some's a little bigger. But they study the makeup of it. And they say that it was actually on fire at one time. And they believe it fell from the sky like rain. I said, I don't need you to tell me that. I've got the book. I know it happened. I know it happened. I, amen. Listen, they've went back and they've proved, amen, that there was a 25-hour day. How they did it, I don't know. But I don't need them to tell me because the book told me. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Moses was upon the mountain. Amen. The children of Israel, honey, they were fighting in a battle and the enemy was overtaking them. Amen. As long as Moses had his hands held high, Israel was prevailing. Moses got tired. How many knows the flesh gets tired? The Lord. Huh? The flesh gets tired. You don't think the flesh gets tired? Go back and read where Jesus slept. Amen. On the hinder part of the ship when he was asleep in the inside of the boat, honey. That flesh, the flesh gets tired. It's part of sin. Amen. But can I tell you what? God sent Aaron and he sent her up there to Moses. And he told him, he said, I want you to scoot a rock up under Moses and let him rest upon it. And I want one to get on one side and I want one to get on the other. Amen. And he said, I want you, amen, to hold up, amen, Moses' arms up to me. Amen. And you know what? Amen. I don't know how he did it. I don't know if he just put his foot, uh, put his finger down, put his foot on it, sent an angel. I don't know how he did it. Amen. But he stopped the earth. Amen. From spinning for the space of one hour so that Israel, amen, could prevail and win the battle. I don't need some scientists to tell me that. The book tells me that. And that's good enough for me. That settles it. Amen. I take what the book says. Not what man says. Amen. Amen. He said, look up. Lift up your head. For your redemption draweth nigh. Hey, look up. He's going to come on the clouds of glory. Every eye, every eye is going to behold Him. Every, every saint and every sinner. Come on. Friend, you think about this. You think about this. When the Lord appears in the cloud and the church is caught up out of here. And you know what happened, but you missed it. I wouldn't want to try to imagine that feeling. I wouldn't want to try to imagine that feeling. Listen to that back there. Ain't that pretty? Huh? I wouldn't want to try to imagine to know that I once served God and felt His power. Friend, I'm telling you, the devil is doing everything he can to try to get us to backslide. But there's one thing I know. If we'll hold to that unchanging hand, Trish, if you'll get us a song, if we'll hold to that unchanging hand, God will see us through. I can't begin to imagine. Our mind, our mind cannot comprehend and grasp what it would feel like to know that the church was gone. Huh? There's still going to be live bodies here on the earth. Amen. But the church is going to be gone. I wouldn't want to be one of them. I wouldn't want to be one of them. You talk about chaos. You, you think about this, friend. You think about a pilot bringing in a big old 757, 777, whatever the biggest jet the passenger jet is. You think about him bringing a big old jet in for a landing. Hey Amen. And he's a servant of the Most High God and got a relationship with God. And that old, that old trump of God sounds, boy, he's gone in a moment's notice. Huh? And that, old, that cold pilot's looking, where'd he go? Huh? You think about those cars that's going to wreck chaos everywhere amen the Bible said two men amen to be in the bed one to be taken and the other left two women be grinding at the meal one to be taken and one want to be left two working in the field one to be taken one to be left two on the housetop huh he said don't go down and try to get what you what you think you need to take with you friend can I tell you I got what I need to take with me and that's Jesus that's all I need I don't need the earthen possessions. Amen. I just need my Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Think about it. Think about it. The church is gone and you missed it. It's, it's a reality. Preacher, I'm 74 year old and I've heard that for 69 plus years. It's going to happen. 
it's going to happen. I don't know when, and I don't know that. I don't know how, but I do know He's a coming. And when that trump sounds, I'm going to be listening for it. And when that trump, Amen. The dead in Christ. The Bible. We know this. The Bible said, "The dead in Christ shall rise first. We that are alive and remain, we shall be called up in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, and we shall forever be with the Lord." He said, "Wherefore comfort ye one another with these words, friend? I'm trying to comfort you tonight. We ain't got time to waste. Amen. Jimmy, you sing a song. Ain't no time wasting. Calling on Jesus." No time wasted calling on the name of the Lord. We ain't got time to waste. Hey Amen. If you got out with your brother and you realize it, hey Amen, make it right. You're not promised tomorrow. Friend, you may not make it home. You might, I'm not trying to scare you tonight. I'm telling you. Hey Amen, we're not promised the next breath. But there's one thing I do know. Hey Amen, it's appointed unto man wants to die and after this the judgment. Hey Amen, and if the Lord delays His coming, as he, if he continues to delay his coming, every one of us is going to go by the route of the grave. We sure will. We can go to the graveyard. It's done been said. There's young people in that graveyard. Babies. Read the bitch word the other day. A 16-year-old boy down Rose Hill Way. Don't know what happened to him. Graveyard dead. Graveyard dead. You ain't got to be old. You ain't got to be sick. You ain't got to have some kind of plague. Hey Amen. You could just fall over. Just slump over dead. Are you ready? Is everything in order? You ain't got no walk with your neighbor? Your neighbor ain't just the one beside you. Come on, your neighbor can be the one across town. Come on, somebody. You ain't quarreling with the family? Come on, neighbor. Are you ready? If the Lord calls, are you ready? We better be ready. Judge yourself tonight. I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to look down on you. I'm not here to stare down my nose and look at you and think that I'm better. I'm not no better than you. I'm flesh and bone just like you are. I make mistakes just like everyone else does. But I'm trying my best to be perfect in the eyes of God. I never be perfect in the eyes of man. But I'm trying to be perfect in my, my Lord and Savior's eyes. I'm trying to live up. It ain't hard. It ain't hard. The Lord did it. He was in the flesh. He did it. Why can't we? Why can't we? we got to crucify this old flesh. Friend, we don't know when and we don't know how. You ain't got time to waste. Don't hold no grudges. If you need to ask somebody for forgiveness, you better be about your father's business. What if they die? Huh? Now that's went into eternity with you. Oh, Lord, I'm sorry. Who's to say the Lord will forgive? Huh? You had a chance and you didn't do it? Come on. Eli saw his sons of sin and did he not? He did nothing to refrain them. He, taught, he did nothing. But they all died. Eli even died. Come on. The news come to Eli. Hey man said, listen, the Philistines, they have taken the ark of God. Oh, and he throwed back his head and he fell over dead. So much grief. Friend, we better be ready to meet the Lord. We better be ready. In the hour that we think not. Come on, somebody. I'm not bragging. I'm not boasting. Hey Amen. But if you need to make a phone call like I did, you better make that phone call. You better go knock on the door. Huh? If you run into them, you be, listen, I'm telling you, you better be ready to meet the Lord. Because I'm telling you, He's a coming. Just as sure as this pulpit is sitting right here tonight, and my hands are upon it, the Lord's a coming. The Lord's a coming. If you need to pray, this altar's open. God bless you as a prayer. I ain't preaching in a while. Hey Amen. Feel good in the Lord. Hey Amen. Feel good in the Lord. We, we love you tonight. God bless you. Let's pray one for another. Pray for our church family. Amen. If you need a closer walk with God, right here it is. Right here it is. We love you in the Lord. As she sings tonight, the altar's open.
not going back. I'll never be the same. Oh, my hope is in Jesus. Oh, my yesterday is cold. Oh, my sins are forgiven. Appreciate your presence in the house of the Lord this evening. Amen. Thank God to be back in his house. Felt good, didn't it, church? Amen. Felt good. Amen. Do keep all of our church family in your prayer. Amen. Jimmy, he they say they still coughing pretty pretty bad and just pray the Lord to help them give them that deliverance. If a, a devil can take out the shepherd, he can take out a whole church. Amen. So lift our pastor up. And all those that's sick tonight, Carl and Laura may, to my knowledge, don't have no uh, flu or nothing like that. But I did talk to her, I guess it was yesterday, and she said her leg, her hip, giving her a hard time. So do pray for her. I think she's 89 or 90 here. So pray for the Lord. With strengthen her and help her. Her heart's desire is to come back to church. Her heart's desire is so. Amen. We be much in prayer for all of our church family, all those tonight. Need a touch from the Lord. God's able, ain't He? He can heal all manner of sickness and disease. All manner. Amen. All right.